Actually, I started as a chemical engineer. Uh, I studied in Germany. Before that, I was in Taiwan, and I started in Germany, and I was amazed of the dual uh, uh, education system in Germany, actually. I am very much uh, happy uh, or appreciate there is a, such a chance that you can have, actually, a, a Realschule, that means uh, more professional, and the other one is the gymnasium, that is the uh, uh, university uh, curriculum. And I do meet some of my uh, uh, doctor uh, friends in BNSF. They started actually from the professional side, skill side, and then at the end they find they feel much uh, comfortable doing doctor degrees and uh, even doing research. So Germany has that kind of uh, binary possibilities. Basically, you have this uh, dual systems, but you still can swap to and fro. But that is normally not happening in China, for example. There's no chance that you can swap. Once you are in this line, then you are in this line. It, you can't change that anymore. So you are, if you are doing the professional things, you are, you are say goodbye to doctors. You, are, you will never get a doctor degree. That's China. Um, what I'm trying to do that here is, <clears throat> No matter how we do the uh, uh, dual education or education, to me, I think each individual is different. This is number one. Yes. And secondly, is each individual develops different, differently. So education is still about a holistic person. It doesn't matter whether uh, he or she is trained in the first place on the skill side because we do see that uh, children have a little bit different tendency, more on skillful uh, 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 skills or on the uh, logic thinking to my children. I have uh, two daughters and uh, really that they have a difference between individual. Uh, but still, what you need is actually to create or even build a holistic person. Totalism. I don't know how to use that word, but I will show, try, I'll try to show that. And the question is, how to do that? I'm skipping all this. I just try to uh, use a yin and yang in Chinese and try to show that basically uh, we are not uh, focusing on any kind of uh, process or individual elements. Actually, the whole five elements, or uh, let's say in the, in the human beings, it comes up with your age, with your, your, your experience, etc. Et you're you are actually living through five elements. So I just take one thing. Maybe we start with number one is the imitation, because we start always with the imitation. Let me see. Which this, uh, yeah. Imitation. Imitation, you imitate everything. You start from young or small as a child. Once you do that, actually, it's a, a, a kind of water element. So that helps to go on learning. Learning is like a wood. You have a certain system, wood, stem, and then you have branch, and that's the wood. Then it goes to teach. Teach is like a fire. Basically, you have to do this, and you are going into that direction, and they are also the teacher is energetic. They want you to learn anything, everything. Now, the, the assisting part is actually, or in, in, in uh, the transforma transforming, we can call that also, is coaching. Coaching is like earth. And innovation or creation, that is metal. So if I say that every one element is transforming, so from imitation, transform to learn, transform to teach, coach, and creation or innovation. So now if you see that there is always assisting something and control something. So what is controlling what? You see that if I start with a fire, who is controlling the fire? Fire is teach. Who is controlling teach? That is water. Water is extinguishing fire. And imitation is actually controlling teach. So you try to teach, but he just imitate. So or, uh, on the other hand, 
when you are teaching, so and uh, the best thing actually you do is you just imitate me. Just repeat after me, repeat after me. So the teacher will say that, repeat after me. And you can say that who is controlling uh, the, uh, from the fire is controlling the, the, the metal, that means the fire will melt the, the metal. So basically if you have too much teach, you're controlling the creation, innovation. So that gives you the five elements. Basically every human being is going through these five elements. Doesn't matter whether you are coming from skills or you're coming from logic thinking. This is what I'm trying to say. To me, dual education is everywhere. Uh, I'm 65 today. After B BASF, I started actually doing not only chemicals. Nowadays, I'm teaching a little bit in the university, one third of my time, and one third of time, I'm still using my capability in the chemical industries. So I'm doing some consulting. And the last one, this is actually within, with these five elements. Five elements is what I learned from Chinese medicine. And this is what I have learned actually in the last 10 years. So why we try to do this at all? Basically, when we say yin yang, basically, yin yang, I would like to introduce to you, yin yang itself, it doesn't have an ending. So it's a dynamic balance, which means you're thinking that we have a yin and a yang. So either this side or that side. Either I am in the professional skills or I am in the logic, you know, the, uh, the doctor degree and all this uh, research. It's not true. Basically, you have to have a kind of crossing and as a dynamic balance. Once I am doing a uh, master degree or doctor degree, I need an internship to learn what is the practical things. On the other hand, when I am doing permanently with uh, practical issues, then I'm trying to improve my uh, logic thinking or trying to anal 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 analysis. So yin and yang is never itself. It is always containing the other half. And that is always there. And with the, within this yin and yang going uh, uh, to and forth, there are five elements flowing through. So I'm just trying to start with my presentation, a short introduction of Chinese thinking. But I think that is relevant also to the worldwide and also to the dual education. Thank you.